Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here to join you this morning at the launch of this uh, very important report. And Minister Harris has asked me to convey his uh, sincere good wishes to you and his apologies that unfortunately he was unable to be here this morning. But he knew it was in good hands when he asked me to do the job. <laughs> It's a real pleasure to be here to launch this report in such a beautiful building in which I know you take great pride. It's, I was just admiring it coming up to Professor uh, Agnes there. We were chatting about it. It reminds me very much of another building that I sometimes uh, have the, the pleasure of attending on Kildare Street. I wish to thank the School of Nursing and Midwifery and in particular Professor Agnes Higgins for organising this influential event. I'm really delighted to launch a report on the evaluation of the epilepsy specialist nurse and the impact on care, the SENSE report. This report is timely following the launch of your model of care for epilepsy last December and complements one of the main objectives for the future of healthcare in Ireland, and that is better care close to home. The SENSE report details the findings into the role, impact and cost effectiveness of the epilepsy specialist nurse in Ireland. This report is a welcome demonstration of collaborative work between the Health Research Board, Epilepsy Ireland and Trinity College Dublin, led by Professor Higgins. I particularly want to acknowledge the role that charities like Epilepsy Ireland can play in funding important research and collaboration with the Health Research Board and other state funders to enable high quality health research in Ireland. The robust design assures me that everyone was included in the report and everyone got heard. I don't need to tell anyone in this room the burden that epilepsy can place on people and their families. Having said that, many people with epilepsy with appropriate management and support live good, uh, quality and abundant lives. As you're aware, people with epilepsy, like other chronic diseases, can have a variety of healthcare needs at different stages of their lives, and these needs have to be met by a range of different healthcare services, and this requires an integrated approach. Integration of healthcare of the, is one of the health priorities outlined in a programme for partnership government. This is a very important component of healthcare reform so that we can provide better care through integrated teams spanning professional and service boundaries. The HSE's Clinical Strategy and Programs Division, through the work of the National Clinical Program and the Integrated Care Programs, is leading a large-scale work program to develop a system of integrated care within Ireland's health and social care services. This work program has changed and continues to change how care is delivered in Ireland. Real progress is being made. We are already seeing decreased admission to hospitals and decreased lengths of stay for a number of chronic diseases, including epilepsy. The overall aim of integrating care is to embed a model of healthcare that will treat people in their communities at the lowest level of complexity and cost. It will ensure acute services are efficient and effective. It mm -hmm. will provide clear pathways for treatment and it will ensure a seamless transition between primary, community, secondary and tertiary care settings. It also recognises the important role of supported self-management in chronic diseases. The model of care for epilepsy through the National Clinical Programme for Epilepsy exemplifies how integrated care for chronic diseases can be achieved and supported. It is a blueprint for how epilepsy services will be developed and improved. With its focus on integrated care, it will transform the care of people with epilepsy in Ireland. Other projects underway are the eHealth Ireland Lighthouse Project on epilepsy and also Epilepsy Ireland's new five-year strategic plan. Altogether, the successes and innovation in epilepsy care in recent years is a really positive health story. Epilepsy Ireland plays a vital role in epilepsy care through the support, education, and self-management programs it offers people with epilepsy. You're a strong and passionate advocate for people with epilepsy, ensuring that patients are always at the heart of what we do. We need to continue to listen to our expert patients in epilepsy and indeed in other chronic conditions. As this sense report demonstrates, one of the main drivers in achieving integration is through the work of the epilepsy specialist nurse. The transition to a predominantly nurse-led service complemented by medical expertise when appropriate is an innovative development. Epilepsy services have become a leading light for all nurse-led services. Some key findings in the report are the extensive knowledge that you offer all patients, families, and other health professionals living around this chronic condition. <coughs> Excuse me. I liked how the comments in the report represented what the participants said, and was touched by the comment of one parent uh, who says of the nurse that she's giving me tools, giving me confidence and reassurance that you can help your child, and she helps you cope. This speaks to the heart of what we're all trying to achieve, which is to support our patients and families to manage their care. 
This allows them to confidently retain their control over their own lives. I'm particularly impressed by some key findings and recommendations in the Sense report as they align to the work currently underway in the Chief Nurse's Office in the Department of Health. Some of the areas of synergy from the report are the recommendation in the report for increasing the numbers of registered advanced nurse practitioners that will follow a chronic disease management model which is in line with our government's plans. These RENPs will support self-management and care in the community, advise and support other healthcare professionals, and enable rapid access to expertise when needed. Your recommendation for more RENPs will be supported by the policy underway in the department. The Chief Nursing Officer's Office has developed a, prop, a paper proposing an evidence-based policy model or pathway for a graduate specialist and advanced nursing and midwifery workforce that is flexible, adapting and enabling. This policy will facilitate a more responsive way of developing advanced and clinical nurse specialists across our services that will ensure we have a critical mass of these posts to better meet patient needs. I like that you propose to expand and offer your services to other areas not fully explored before like maternal and mental health services. Furthermore, the office has developed a policy on integrated community nursing and midwifery practice that will develop genuine integration between our hospitals and community services. This policy reiterates the position of the primary healthcare team as the first point of contact for the population in the community setting. Coupled with developing and re-engineering the current nursing and midwifery resources to optimize their impact in an integrated model of healthcare. This supports your recommendation for the redirection of the epilepsy specialist in our services from the acute to the community setting. This reduces the perception that this chronic condition needs to be managed in a high-tech environment. I know from meeting people uh, when I've event, uh, attended Epilepsy Ireland events as well, that being empowered and enabled to handle their own condition and their families is really crucial and being able to remain in their own settings is, is key to the quality of their life. Establishing the numbers required and stabili stabilizing the work of the epilepsy specialist nurse will require work workforce planning. Both Minister Harris and I are delighted to tell you that the work of the task force is expanding the first phase in the acute medical surgical wars, wards and commencing phase two in the ED setting. This further complements your vision for increasing the nursing input into the services for patients and families. This also speaks to the, 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 excuse me, the deployment of the right person in the right place at the right time as the patient's needs require. As leaders, the report recognizes your achievement in audit, policy, and pathway development in clinical practice. You've also implemented the electronic patient records and the telephone advisory line. Your work in this area will be critical in assessing and reassuring other health professionals of the potential of these tools and services. Measuring the outcomes and impacts of what you do does not need to be visible and a policy on the, uh, does need to be visible and a policy on the KPI framework is near completion. The CNO's office has developed a framework for national nursing and midwifery KPIs to ensure that their development, prioritization and endorsement is standardized. The framework will assist in demonstrating the impact of nursing and midwifery across key areas of our health services and mostly in the lives of others in your care. In addition, the advanced nursing roles allow the consultant to manage the more complex polypathology conditions. In a nutshell, this report demonstrates that the work of the epilepsy specialist nurse is valuable and proactive in driving care away from the hospital for the benefit of patients and families, and that you need more of them. I want to sincerely acknowledge the work leading to this reform in epilepsy care. Once again, I congratulate the work of the Health Research Board, Epilepsy Ireland, and Professor Agnes Higgins, and I hope that we can all continue to work together to improve services for people with epilepsy in Ireland, and it gives me great pleasure to launch the report here this morning. Thank you. Thank you.